हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड दिस इज व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल डिकोपाज बॉटल व्हिच आई हैव डन इट हैज सम रियली कूल मिक्स मीडिया स्टफ एंड यस दिस लुक्स रियली 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 अमेजिंग एंड दिस इज क्वाइट बिग सो दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज रियली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन हाउ टू plan out and decorate your uh, big size glass bottles and add some really nice textures to it can you really see the nice texture then i have also added some embellishments and i have done um uh, lots of technique in this one so let's start but before we start please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you really like this video so let's get started start with doing decoupage on this glass bottle it's a very huge big glass bottle which is in black color and of course i'm not going to have that cause for your decoupage work you need to have a good white base so that your decoupage napkin or the paper's color pops out really well especially for the napkins and i have decided to use this beautiful paper and yes of cause i need to trim down my paper and for that i'm using my paint brush if you are really 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 good in um, fuzzy cutting work you can definitely go for fuzzy cutting work but as you can see that this image has so much of detailing and it's going to take hell lot of time to do the fuzzy cutting work so i have decided to just trim this down so yes i'm just doing a bit of designing work playing around with my paint brush and i will be removing this portion for my decoupage work now once i'm done with this i'm just going to very softly uh, remove all the extra papers from this and i need to be a little gentle because this is not a paper these are decoupage napkin and they are really 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 delicate of course i love it like anything but yeah so i need to trim down this portion really well and like i said these are decoupage tissues not paper so you need to be a little gentle with these sheets and uh, this is one of the new uh, decoupage tissue which i had got very recently and i absolutely absolutely loved this one so minimum on the like uh, very minimum side i will be uh, needing two papers so <clears throat> let me take out this one two and me let me try to just trim down two images cause it's a very huge and big bottle and i'm sure i will be needing more than two and like i always um prefer having uh, beautiful decoupage napkins on my um decor pieces so that they work wonderfully and that's the reason why I love having uh, napkins with some really bigger design so that I can cover the maximum areas of my uh, decor piece. So yes, I'm just tearing off the extra portions. Like I said, if you are really good in um, fussy cutting work, then that is something which you can always try. But this one has so much of detailing, so I thought doing the brushing technique is really 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 going to help it so yes and done so here i'm done with my two papers let me see if required then definitely i'm going to take one more piece but right now i think i'll stick to two pieces of these uh, papers only now first let me just check if this is working out so i can have one here i can have other one here and can i okay i can actually have one more piece so let me 
oops let me take out one more one more piece from here and i'm just trying to uh, do the cutting work now only the decoupage napkin so that uh, as soon as i start working i don't have to redo this process and i will save time and uh, usually working when you are working on a bigger project like uh, the decoupage bottles and everything there are too much of work there are really so many work which you need to do there are too many detailings which you should check so i really 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 need to make sure that i have all my uh, requirements ready with me i think this was quick here i'm just trimming off the uh, papers really well here and quick this is quite quick so actually this napkin also has a beautiful border i really love this blue color uh, flower so maybe i can use that for uh, another of my projects so definitely i'm not going to throw away this paper right now because i might use this for some another project and yes that's how i use my decoupage leftover pieces i have done so so many projects with these kind of leftover uh, napkins so you can just scroll down to my channel and see all those videos okay friends so i have already picked up few of the colors which i'm going to use on this glass bottle but i need to prep up this base and for prepping up i am using my artistics gesso um there are many gesso brands available in the market but this is the one which i really really like and of course i'm sharing the link down in the description box for you all guys so please do check that and yes if you are doing any of the decoupage work this is a must 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 craft supply you should have uh, many a times i have even used acrylic colors but like i always say that each craft supply has its own pros and cons uh, and whenever you are doing your uh, base prepping up work you need to you really 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 need to have a uh, good primer cause that is something which is going to hold your project really well so do try uh, gesso and you will see the difference definitely in all your projects so that's really 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 important now here i'm using my sponge dauber and if you are new to my channel i would just like to tell you that i love 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 sponge dauber this is one of my uh, favorite crafty tools it is a must for color blending for applying your uh, uh, primers for your colors and it just works perfectly the blending work what it gives to your project is just phenomenal and that's why i really 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 like this now you can use your sponge daubers too but here i really uh like using my i really actually like using my sponge dauber for uh, putting up the primer especially when i'm working on the bottles uh, with uh, my sponge dauber cause uh, it does not leave any mark and especially when i'm going to use my napkins and most of the area is going to be visible like if you are covering a complete areas with your decoupage napkin it is not going to make much of difference but if you are going to use your napkins and patches and uh, work on the other areas with different mediums then i would highly 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 recommend you to go for the sponge daubers they are uh, one time purchase i have been using these for uh, almost 2 years now and they work wonderfully they work amazingly so of course see this was so quick i was just talking to you guys and i almost finished my gesso work now i have not done the bottle neck till now cause i need something to hold i need really need something so that i can turn my bottle and make it easier for me 
so yes here I am done You just need to be a little careful with your uh, color blending work and you just need to be a little careful that you need to make sure that you cover all the areas completely. Now just for example can you, let me show you, can you see this patch? Okay, now here maybe I did not do my sponge dauber properly. So you need to be really careful and this is just going to make sure that uh, when you apply your decoupage napkin the base color is even so it should be really even you in one area you cannot do too much of your uh, sponge tapping work or you cannot do it less it has to be just perfect on all the areas and your base color should not be visible at all now uh, we do not use gesso just for the sake that our decoupage napkins needs to pop out but also to prep up the base now usually what happens is whenever we are um, doing some work whenever we are doing some crafting we are adding colors and for adding these colors and everything we really <clears throat> really really need to make sure that everything pops out well and yes you also need to make sure that your color sticks to your base really well because that is something very very important and if the colors are not going to uh, adhere stick to your base then it is not going to okay so for some reason i had to switch off my video and i really forgot what i was talking about yeah so i think i think i was talking about that why you need a primer it's not only to highlight your decoupage papers or the napkins but also uh, to make sure that whatever the mediums you use in your project they stick really 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 well to your base so usually with the glass and other uh, easy and soft surfaces it becomes little difficult to have uh, the color sticking well to your base and that is something which you should avoid and to have a uh, proper nice primed areas really help you well now my base has not dried out well but still i'm doing a second coat of my gesso here so that i can just do it quickly and uh, yes the fan of my room is in full speed so it is drying out fast so that's the reason i thought i will not wait for it to dry for a hundred percent and on the top of it i'll do my second coat Okay, so today there are too many things happening at a time. So uh, this is the fifth time I had to switch off my video while making it. Okay, now here my uh, gesso work is done and now it's time to stick my beautiful decoupage napkins. 
and I need to remove the plies and I could see that it is coming out very easily anyways because actually off camera when I was uh, drying my bottle with my heat gun I actually run that on these uh, napkins and it actually came out so so quickly so okay done so here I am absolutely absolutely done with doing my napkin work now I'm just thinking why not to have it like this or or should I spread it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use all the three napkins and I'm going to spread it properly on the complete bottle but uh, the other alternate is to have it something like this here so just let me know if you like this option too so that when I'm doing a next bottle maybe I can plan out something where I just do decoupage on this front area and rest of the areas I do some other technique work for you guys so for this one we are going to have this one only and now I need to get my decoupage glue so yes very recently uh, I have organized my craft room and now it's much 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 more easier for me to find my stuff and yes I should have done this very um, way back but I'm too lazy I'm really 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 too lazy to clean up my room so yes now I will start with uh, this area so I'm going to take my design a bit up and I just need to make sure that I apply my decoupage glue generously every everywhere and yes uh, I have already taken out my flat paint brush just to make sure that I stick this well in my oops bottle so yes this is actually going to help me in removing all the bubbles and gaps so oops yes and I'm just trying to fill in the areas wherever I have not put up my decoupage glue and here I'm using my Mod Podge it's a matte finish Mod Podge if you are a big fan of glossy effect then you can definitely uh, try glossy decoupage glue also they also look wonderful it's completely your choice that what kind of look and feel uh, you want for your bottle or for your artwork so here I am using my flat brushes to make sure that I apply generous amount of decoupage glue and I stick it well to my base. Oh wow, this is already looking so 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 gorgeous. So you can actually, you can uh, really, you can actually use these bottles just as it is. Just do the work and they are done. Now the reason why I love using the flat brushes to stick it up is because it makes your work much more easier, much more faster and they stick without any issues. And they blend well, they gel well and sticking with your brushes makes it much more easier and just make sure you don't overdo if you feel that somewhere you have some gaps or anything you can just dab it with your paint brushes or your fingers and it's really 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 good to go now I need to use my heat gun so that I can move on to the other side
okay so here I am done now I need to add this paper here maybe somewhere somewhere here okay so I have I think almost decided that where I want to have my paper and now I'm going to apply my decoupage glue my Mod Podge on the complete surface use a flat brush for this uh, step so that it becomes easier for you to just blend in the color or just blend in your uh, decoupage glue on the complete areas and then with the flat brush you can quickly just run it all over with a soft hand and that makes your work super super easy now I am going to run this completely here on oops this side okay yeah I have applied my decoupage glue here so can you really see the beautiful napkin it is all visible because of my gesso work and yes that is one of the very important reason that you should you should have your uh, base colored up in white i've also done a tutorial where i've explained that why having a white color base is really important i did that on a stone so do check that stone uh, decoupage work on my video list so here adding up some more decoupage glue and this is sticking really really well I'll just stick it down also let me see how I'm going to do it after the words but I just feel that I should remove this extra paper from here and now I'm going to press it well so wow this looks absolutely absolutely amazing absolutely amazing wow this looks pretty cool so okay I think doing it this way I should trim down some of the extra papers from here and I will just quickly trim it off with my scissor and yeah this is good okay so here I have these paper on the sides and here I just want to have a bit of this so that I can show that show that it's in a continuation I really don't know what I'm going to do I really do not okay yeah decided so I'm going to have this and stick it somewhere like this in the uh, bottom area not the complete bottom area but just I will leave around one and a half inches space and then I'm going to do it now I need to apply my decoupage glue I'm doing it generously on my complete oops by mistake I used my flat brush now I need to take something else and yeah, this is also good so now I will start sticking with this one So with a flat brush, I'm just pressing it nicely and I just want to make sure that it sticks really, really well. So yeah, I need to add some of the decoupage glue here because I think somehow I did not put my decoupage glue here so yes now I need to repeat the same process here so if you are a beginner and you really don't know that how much and uh, 
which area you are going to have so you can have your decoupage glue on the complete bottle uh, part by part and then you can stick it otherwise this also works really well because in this way you are going to do uh, have a very less very very less uh, wastage of your decoupage glue so it's just that i don't like wasting too much of my craft supplies that's the reason i opted for this way which works great for me and yes initially it was a little difficult but i'm sure if you guys will try then you all can also have a nice way of creating your artwork without wasting too much of your supplies so here i am done i'm just pressing it on the areas wherever i feel that i can see the lines this is just going to make sure that it blends with my base really well so ideally when you are doing your decoupage work it should not be visible that you have sticked anything on your base if it's visible then it does not look that good and just to avoid that you need to press your napkins or the papers really well especially the napkins because when they look like when you can see that it does not give a that good view so uh, still when your uh, decoupage glue your mod podge or your uh, diy decoupage glue anything of it whatever you are using is still wet like say 70 80% has dried out but the rest is wet still you can just keep on pressing on the areas wherever you feel that uh, you can see the lines and it will work out like if you see in these areas whenever i'm pressing i can see i can actually uh, see that how my paper is merging so 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 well with my glass bottle so here this looks fab i'm just wondering should i add one more paper here i really don't want this to overlap so let me just cut this let me trim this with my or maybe i should check this first okay if i do it like this no 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 okay i let it be like this only cause uh, of course i am going to use my other mediums also so let me just give it a quick dry with my hit gun and then we'll move on to the next step so i'm done with my sticking my decoupage napkin and this is looking absolutely absolutely amazing i am in love 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 with this decoupage napkin and yes i would like to share i have two pieces of this napkin i would like to share one with you so wait till this end of the video to know how can you get that okay now i am going to blend in some uh, really cool uh, shades so here i have two different shades of uh, peach and one is dark one is light and then what i have is gray color and i have decided that i am going to use all these three shades now uh, whenever i am working with my chalk paints i always do blunder so this time i have thought that i will be using my acrylic base to take down all the colors so that it's easy for me to work out okay so i hope i hope this helps um in not doing any any blunder with my color now as i said that this is a very big bottle so i know that i'm going to uh i will be needing too much of color so i'm not at all afraid of uh having good amount of color on my palette i just i think i should mix this just shake this bottle and yeah i think i can take it out oops just like this wow this is all coming out okay some of gray and some of darker peach color now what i'm going to do is i'm having this small, small sponge dropper and i will start blending this color from the outer areas 
and in the mid I am going to simultaneously take these two shades also so like I said I need to be really 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 good with this and I will be blending this color on my complete bottle now wherever I have my decoupage napkin I am just going to make sure that I dab it very 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 lightly and I don't overdo the coloring part and I also need to make sure that I blend it really really well so I need to have all these shades uh, blending very nicely on my base so I'm starting with the bottom area and then I'm adding the lighter shades this is just to uh, make sure that it blends really well and simultaneously I will be adding the lighter shades also
so here i'm just dabbing the tinge of gray very 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 tinge of gray on the areas uh, wherever i have my napkin uh, of white color this is just to blend in well with my project now here uh, one thing that this paper is coming out and i have absolutely no idea that why did it came out it might be uh, because of uh, uh, because it might have not dried out well and i started with this color coat so i just need to use my heat gun now but before that let me just uh, let me just clear up with the top neck of the bottle now this is done and i need to take down all the excessive paints back to my bottle and this was really really quick now i need to transfer my gray shade let me take a flat brush and I'll put this back now I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to put the color which has blended already on my palette so I'm going to clean this later on oops, and, oops. let me close each and every paint right now and yes now I'm going to use my heat gun to dry this up and so that I can stick this area properly Okay, so this this area has almost dried out, and I need to have my Mod Podge again, and I need to make sure that I stick this area well. So this whole paper was actually coming out. I will try to pull it off, or maybe maybe what I can do is I can just have a bit of dot here okay now I am going to fill this area with my Mod Podge and then I will seal this up I really don't know that how much this is going to work out but I think this works well here so I'm applying a coat of Mod Podge and again I'm going to use my heat gun okay so my bottle has dried out well and it's looking fab it's looking gorgeous and now it's time to add some texture to it so here is a stencil which i am going to use and i have my modeling paste and this one is from camelin and i am going to use this 
modeling paste to use on my bottle but 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 before adding this paste i wanted to add some more drama to it and how to add some drama to it here i am going to color this up with my chalk paint so this is the same color chalk paint now this was actually a darker i have used a darker shade chalk paint here if you want you can choose the shades as per uh, your choice now why i wanted to add chalk paint or the shade to my uh, texture paste it's simply because i wanted to uh, have uh, the same color i did not wanted to add too much of color later on so that's the reason and i knew that if i'm going to add any of my shades to my uh, texture paste it is going to uh, get lighter so here i have used the darker shade of the chalk paint and now i as you can see that my chalk paint my texture paste has become so 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 smooth so it's going to be a little difficult for me to work with that so here is the secret ingredient you can use any of the talcum powders and just mix it well with your texture paste i love using baby talcum powder and yes with this you can really see that earlier it was too creamy and now it is it has thickened up you just need to make sure that you mix it really really well so here can you see me that i can actually pick up all these in one go so that means it has mixed really well and it should look as creamy as possible okay so yeah here i am done i'll just try to accumulate everything together let me close this jar so now the best thing about this uh, stencil is that you can see through and you can know that where exactly you need to work so i have decided to do the texture work on the areas wherever i have not done my decoupage work so i'll just keep it like this and then quickly very quickly i will be running this on my bottle so if you uh, don't have any of the modeling paste or the texture paste you can make it of your own i have already done a video on that just scroll down to my channel and you can see that video and this looks absolutely absolutely gorgeous now i need to be a little careful okay now here i am holding my bottle properly and i'm trying to do my texture paste on as much areas as i can this is looking gorgeous this is really really looking beautiful can i can i have something here or can i use this let me use this in this area okay so i'm not going to press this area too much and i will just do it quickly and done this is done few more spaces in this side so the best part of using a big size stencil uh, is that whenever you are doing a bigger project it makes it much 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 more easier to get these uh, spaces at one go and which is really easy and makes your work interesting so here and oh this is interesting so here i need to work in this pattern so i'll keep it here i'll hold it from here and now i will be using my texture i need to just check okay 
I need to do some here and then I need to do some texture texture work here okay so this is done now oh I need to add some more I need to add some more of textures here some more of textures here okay this looks good now a quick tip that always 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 in your stencils uh, some texture paste is always there just rub it along be gentle with your stencils and you can see that how much so much of texture paste is there your modeling paste is there and once you remove this oh, can you really see there was too much of texture paste on this so let me collect everything together and again I need to use my texture paste why because I have not done the top portion of my bottle so here I need to run this texture wherever it's possible for me Yes, it's done. It is done and this is looking really, really, really nice. I'm super happy with this one. Now let me just go and keep my stencil for a quick wash and let this texture also dry out and then we will be back. Okay, so here I am done with my bottle and this looks really, really, really cool. This looks really, really, really amazing. Can you just see the texture work? It has come out so, so, so well. And now it's time to embellish this. And for that, I have been thinking of using some uh, jute pieces and I think this color will go really well. Okay. So I am going to tie this around completely and for that I am going to use my liquid adhesive and <clears throat> I am going to start from this part of my bottle. So what I am going to do is I am just going to roughly put up my adhesive and then with a flat brush I am just going to give a quick brushing work uh, to my complete bottle so let me show it to you this way so I am just covering up the neck bottle and I will be now tying my jute thread and I will be starting from uh, if this is my and okay so I will be starting from this side of my bottle because in the front I have worked so much I have worked so rigorously with my decoupage napkin and all those stuff I'm just uh, twining this around the uh, bottle cap area I do not uh, want to cover the complete bottle with this like the neck of this bottle so I am just covering this up with the jute thread and I can twist around oh, I did some of the mistakes so what I should do is ideally I should turn my bottle around so that I do not leave any empty areas and yes this looks good now I'm really 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 happy and uh, I've never ever done uh, this particular peach color yes I have blended the color but I have never ever done the uh, color combination of peach color on my 
bottle and I am genuinely very happy with the way it has turned out so yes here I'm almost almost done I'm just trying to handle this bottle a little gentle gently now because I have still not put up my varnish I am going to do that at the end once I finish up all the complete or uh, covering and working on this bottle now again on the back side I'm just going to stick this and <coughs> just cut this one and stick it well I just need to press it well and it is done now this looks really really good and now it's time to add some embellishments to it so I would like to show you that uh, very uh, recently I had done uh, these uh, <coughs> clay wings clay embellishment making tutorial so I really love this one and I thought this color was going uh, is actually going to go really well with this and this color combination looks already really good because this is the combination which is there on my glass bottle so now what I'm going to do is <coughs> I am going to have this here so for this I will be using my <coughs> glue drops yes of course I am going to share all the uh, links of these uh, supplies down in the description box do 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 check that just click on the links and you can buy these supplies very easily and they will be delivered at your doorstep so nothing 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 like it I think that's the best part when you are uh, sitting at home and, and getting all the supplies at home wow this looks amazing this looks absolutely amazing I was also thinking of adding some embellishments here so maybe I can just have a tie or can I just put it like this only how will it look or should I hang it but I really want to use one of the embellishments shall I keep it no I think this is looking really great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one more glue drop and I'll put it on the I'll fold it half now I will stick it on the upper side of this embellishment and I'm going to stick it here and this is looking gorgeous so I have used my resin embellishments this is my DIY embellishments I'm going to share the link down of the tutorial of this one and this clay embellishment too so now I need to just pack this everything up and then I need to do the final coating and if you know me you know what I'm going to use for my final coating it's going to be my varnish and yes here I have my water-based Asian paints varnish and I am going to apply a generous amount of varnish on my complete project so with this yes my tutorial is done I really really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and just in case you have any queries feel free to comment below of course the links are already there down in the video description box do check that thank you so 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 much for watching take care bye bye I'm